Hi everybody, thank you for checking out my review for this iPossible extended battery for the LG V20. I had an iPossible battery for my Note 4 and loved it. I actually tried a couple different brands um, of the extended batteries. I was happiest with the iPossible. So when it came time, uh, I upgraded my phone. So now I needed to uh, upgrade the battery as well uh, because I use my phone a lot. So I picked this little guy up. I'm really happy with it. So I decided to do this review for you. I figured I would answer the uh, the important questions which uh, that everybody is always going to want to know is just how heavy it is and how much uh, size does it add to your phone. Um, so as far as the weight goes, you're at 5.95 ounces. It does come with the case as well. Um, so you're at just under a half pound for that. Um, I, and that's about normal. I mean, that's just what you're going to get. You get it. You're getting a battery that's about three times the size as the the standard battery. So to use it, all you're going to do is click this button here on the side and open that up. Um, then you're going to pop out your battery. You're going to slide this in just like so. And then you're going to put the, the case on just like that. So that's how big it is. It does kind of turn your phone into a giant brick. Um, and that's just what it is uh, if you want to have this, this giant of a battery. It, I do find it a lot easier to carry this than to carry um, a normal battery with the phone and then an external battery pack to charge it. So that's the reason why I always go with these things. Um, I like the case a lot. It's a smooth case, um, which the other one was a little bit more rigid, um, so it's a little easier to hold on to. It is smooth, but I haven't found any issues as far as um, it's sliding out of my hands or anything like that, so I don't have a problem with that. I like the way that it's it's designed. It's it's really nice around the fingerprint sensor. It's still easy to get to the fingerprint sensor, the power button. Um, of course, the the cameras are free as well. And then I like the microphones because that's a big deal um, with these. The V20 is the microphone, so the microphone cutouts are awesome as well. You can you can easily fit your headphones in too. So I really like it a lot. Um, the fact of the matter is, it lasts a really long time. I mean, just an incredible time. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you can see it. Um, I can use this thing. I run processes literally all day long on it. Um, and it'll last easily all day. If, if under normal circumstances, you can get several days of use out of this. One thing I do want to mention while this is booting up is that you do have to calibrate these phones um, to the extended batteries, and that's any extended battery. Um, and the calibration process, really, honestly, it's not perfect. Um, so what you'll find is that sometimes it'll show 57%. You'll take the battery out, put it back in, and it'll show... 70 percent um, and that's the that's the fault of the android system it has nothing to do with this battery and you'll get that exact same problem with any extended battery so the best way to calibrate it is to um, completely drain it i mean completely drain this phone um, and what what i found is i have to use an app to do that because it takes so long so i use this your battery drainer and you can just do start draining. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to turn everything, every process on your phone on and kill your battery faster. And you'll find this, that it'll still run for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> so um, watch it because you can overheat your phone as well when you're trying to do that. So I'll use it until it gets to about like 5% and then I'll try to kill it the rest of the way. Then when you charge it back up, you plug it in, um, you're going to look right up here at the top where the battery is and it's going to have a little lightning bolt. So even though it says 100%, if that little lightning bolt is still on there, keep charging it because it's still charging. Because so, your phone thinks it's 100%, but the battery um, is still being charged. So it's it's uh, real important to try to, to try to calibrate that. If it's a big deal to you, honestly, to me, it's not a big deal. I know with these batteries that I can run it all day long. So if the percentage is a little off, it doesn't matter because it's going to last all day long anyway. Um, if you get to the 1% or the 5% where the phone starts limiting your performance because it thinks the battery's low, pull the battery out, pop it back in, you'll be at 20, 30% or whatever, and you're good to go for a while. Um, so all in all, this is an amazing little battery. The, the warranty on this thing is incredible. I mean, two years, honestly. The lithium batteries, this, this stock battery is not going to last two years. Um, so a two-year warranty on a lithium battery is an incredible warranty. I've dealt with this company before, and they're actually somebody who will stand behind their warranty, which is important too. Some people say that they have it, and then uh, like another company that I used, I actually 
contacted them and said, hey, I had a problem with the battery, and they said, oh, we'll let the engineer know, and they, they never replaced my battery. So I was like, forget it. I'm going with that possible because I know that they'll actually stand behind their product. So all in all, this is an amazing little battery. I think you guys are going to be happy with it. If you're looking for an extended battery, yes, it's big, um, but you can, <laughs> you can use this thing as much as you want all day long, which is exactly the purpose of it. Um, so if you're looking for an extended battery, definitely check out iPossible. Um, if you want one that's a 10,000 or 11,000, 12,000 milliamp, whatever this one is, I don't remember, it's a lot of 1,000 milliamps, <laughs> um, then definitely I recommend uh, iPossible over anything else. Zero Lemon, I've used Zero Lemon, um, and they make a decent battery. Their warranty isn't nearly as good, um, and, it's, and the performance isn't any better than this. iPossible keeps up with Zero Lemon in every way and then blows them out of the water with the warranty. So, um, like I said, if you're looking for an extended battery, this is the one to get. I give this five stars. Pick it up.